there's, uh, let me, how many of you have played games before? All these fighting games on phones. You know, when Android first came out, maybe in the days of, uh, all right, fighting games. Uh, have you have done that? Let me see your hands up. Male or female? Okay. That was how you were easing boredom then. Okay, you are welcome. Now, there are times that you will have to play to some level to win some kind of weapon that makes defeating the enemy easier. There are special things in the arsenal of God that you will not know there are packages available to make your sojourn easier. One of such packages is glory. Um, you may have a message, but it is important that there is a package that God placed on the life of Joshua. God said, this day will I begin to magnify you. Are you with me? Yeah. Meaning that you can say the same things but receive different ways. There is another package that can be added to the life of a man, which is the package of honor. That God decides, that's also a dimension of magnifying a man. He can place it on you. But there's a package also, which is the package of influence, that you will say the same thing, but it will travel further. That there is no tongue, no language, where your voice will not be heard. So these packages here and there makes our operations easier. Um, are you with me? I want to say some things carefully. Because by Saturday, we are most likely going to off camera. I just give the internal link because when you speak from the realm of glory, the Gentiles will react. And the reason why there will be a reaction is because gross darkness is covering them. And they can react with scriptures, but it is from darkened counsel. Are you with me? Another dimension that is part of the package that you can reach out for. Um, <laughs> let's go to Revelations 5. All right? Because sometimes it's not enough that you say these things. You have to show the people. Are you with me? Turn your Bibles quickly to the book of Revelations, chapter number 5. All right, let's start the reading from. Are you there? <laughs> Are you there? All right, Revelations 5, let's start the reading from verse 9. Revelations 5 and verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood and sorry, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Verse 10 now. Quickly. And has made us unto God kings and what? Priests. And we shall reign on the head. 11. Quickly. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Same with a loud voice. What is the lamb that was slain to receive power? That's a package. To receive riches? That's a package. To receive wisdom? That's a package. To receive strength? That's a package. To receive honor? That's a package. To receive glory? That's a package. To receive blessing? That's a package. If you embrace the package of power and neglect the package of honor, 
you will be powerful. But the power will have jurisdiction and limitations. You will not cover as you should cover. But there's also a package which is the package of riches. And I understand that because of the pain in the heart of many people, particularly young people, and the, um, the possibility of encounters with charlatans, um, people don't want to believe that it is possible for the hand of God to prosper a man. But it is. It is. Some of the greatest blessings I've received in my life are from people I've never met that God told, go and honor my servant. Did I work for it? 